using a master lock hasp and a standard combination lock for testing. It'll be applied to a 4x4 post set in the ground. Uh, we're going to test the JTC claw on a padlock with a standard hasp and uh, screws that came from the store. Go ahead and insert it. So uh, he's going to go ahead and insert that in with the center spike into the lock itself. And then he's just going to put a little bit of pressure and we're just going to use one hand just to show you how easy it is. And there you go. Go ahead and pick that up. We'll see if the lock broke. So the whole lock came right out. Did that with one hand. Upgrading to a larger lock with a custom shackle design makes it very difficult or impossible to cut with a pair of bolt cutters. It's at a uh, carbide uh, steel material. So we're going to go ahead and try that out. Anytime you're ready. Pulled the hasp right out. JTC claw, we're testing on an all stainless steel hasp and lock, using the same lock as before. Instead of using the screws that came with it, we're using three inch hardened screws. All the way. JTC claw after striking the steel I beam, dented the steel I beam. That's good. Enough said. Four different locks, defeated by the JTC Claw, 3-12-2012.